What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new player review on the channel. I hope you're doing okay. I am you sure UK and today we have Lima right back. Now this is an interesting one because there's obviously already Mukiele uh, right back who was an objective card and uh, a lot of people probably gone away and done that and so as he's got the French links as well probably not a lot of people are going to be demanding this one. He does get a few good Bundesliga perfect links though to Sabitzer, Alaba, some good cards and let's have a look at his in-game stats after we check out his requirements. 33 rated team, RB Leipzig player 1, Bundesliga player 85 and 70 Kemp, 80 Kemp for the 83 rated. That isn't too bad at all, it's not very expensive but it is an odd one for them to put out a, right, uh, a Leipzig right back when there already is one in the game that everybody did for free. We're going to do it anyway um, because I live in Leipzig and I support Leipzig as well as Man United. And uh, let's go ahead and do the player and have a look at how he fares in our lineup. So let's have a look at the stats first and foremost. 91 pace, very, very pacey. Very, very good. Um, 89 acceleration, 92 sprint speed. Shooting for a right back, not expecting it to be good, but it's actually surprisingly quite good. Very, very good passing. It's a short pass that I particularly want to look at for these defenders, and that's phenomenal. 88 short passing for a right back is brilliant. Dribbling, very good across the board, um, between 77 and 82 range, very consistent through the dribbling. Defending, solid. Stand, I would like to stand tackle, slide tackle to be slightly higher for a right back, um, but it, it's good enough. And the interceptions, 87. This card could be incredible as a CDM. I'm already thinking, I'm going to try him at right back and I'm going to try him at CDM. Potentially try him at centre back as well if we get time. So, uh, Finally, his physical, 92 stamina, that's fantastic. Strength, 80. Aggression, 92. I think this card could actually be quite decent. Just don't know how well demanded it is because obviously Mukieli and uh, not as good links for him because he's not French. So let's go ahead and put him in a 4-4-2 formation to begin with. Try him at right back. And then we're going to pop him in at CDM on a 4-2-3-1 and also try him at centre back. Let's go. Okay, so we've gone and submitted the last squad. Let's go and get a line up. Pop him in the team. And guys, if you are in the giveaway already or you want to get yourself involved in the giveaway i will be dropping those clues later on in the video if you're expecting them to be at the start which they have been for the last six days of christmas i'll be popping them in any point from now onwards with the image and what is on the seventh day of christmas lima here we go folks let's see him walk out to the penguin very very good looking stats on the face of his card let's see how he plays in game this is our team we have kind of just Put it together. Um, it's not obviously the best team. We're going to be in Div 1 uh, with 1,970 skill rating. I'll show you that just in a second. This is the team we're going to be using. Limart starting off in right back, the position of where the card was made. So we're going to have a look and see how good he is there. No instructions on. We are going to go in change to a 4-2-3-1 uh, for the second game or at half time, depending on whether we've made up our mind. Just press it after possession loss. Just some default tactics on the attacking uh, aspect of it. Um, but this is where he is going to line up in that formation. He's going to line up at a right DM in this formation. We're going to try him here, right back and centre back. So he has medium high and he has three star skill moves, three star weak foot. So that doesn't bother me at all, really. That's kind of good. Medium high is brilliant work rate. And three star weak foot is the minimum. I don't need to do any skills. That's perfect for me. Better than having a, a two star weak foot, of course. And that is something that um, the last couple of defenders that I have reviewed have had. Jesus Navas and Adama Traore both having that two-star weak foot. So this would be a little bit better to use in that sense. And uh, here we are with our 1,970. Just at the bottom end of Div 1, we're going to be using this uh, team that's, you know, I'm going to be coming up against some insane teams. But let's have a look. And if you are wondering why I'm using the Liverpool badge, I'm a main night supporter. But uh, this is Channel Points in the Twitch channel. Somebody's asked to change my badge to Liverpool. How dare they? Um, so that is why that is on there. I'm not fraud. I'm a main night supporter. This is the team we're coming up against first up. Jesus, this is really uh, so quite something. They're going to be laughing when they see my team. Let's see how Lima gets on against the likes of uh, Neymar, Lozano, Bruno, Eusebio. Let's go. Let's get him on the ball then. First touch for him. See how he feels. Send him on a run over top. Gets blocked off by Varane. Be interesting to see how he does play. He's incredibly fast and very agile. So I do uh, have that Mukiele card and he moves. He's very rigid. He's very, very strong and he's very fast, but he's very, very rigid. Can't uh, move about the pitch as smoothly as some of these other players. Um, like I said in the 
Navas that I've reviewed and the Adama Chure, they move about very, very well across the ground, sort of Kante-esque. And this Limar just picking up easy interceptions here. Okay, making easy work of them. How's his R1X? It's good. Yeah, it's smooth. How's your long pass? Off, you, off your wrong foot. Not quite on target, but early signs that he's a very decent player, an all-round player. We've only, uh, only just started with him. Let's see if I can get him involved. Oh, okay, dispossessed, blonk, big tackle. Can he find a nice pass? He does, very nicely threaded down the line. Nice, nice movement. I think this could be a really good CDM already. Or a centre back. I think it could be solid. It's also just his stature. He's relatively uh relatively tall. Incredibly agile. Really nice. Brilliant tackle there as well. It was a very nice runs to be honest. Nice ball, well weighted, well timed. Can we convert from here? Okay, it's Neymar is up against. What can he do? Stands him up easily, and the guy's actually scared. Has to pass away. What can you do now against Eusebio? He's covering the ground, cutting the passing lane so effortlessly. Got the agility not to uh, get in the way of other players, though. A lot of defenders being very clumsy. They've got 92 stamina, I believe. So it's not going to be a problem if you do want to run around with him as a sort of CDM. Unlike my Dharma Chiro review where I, I found his stamina just, you know, it got depleted very fast. It ran out very fast, potentially because of his high-to-high -high work rate. That's what we determined there. But on this occasion, Lima, he's, he's, he's good. He's really, really good. Um, I am going to now go into the 4-2-3-1. I think I've seen enough of him at right back. I think he's going to be wasted at right back. And uh, we're going to have a look and see how good he can be as a CDM. Here we go. One, two. Finish. Oh, lovely. Salmon-esque. Brilliant goal. Limar getting on the score sheet. It's only taken us 50 minutes and we've scored with him. I think this is a great position to actually play him in the Bundesliga. You do have the likes of Kimmich. You have uh, Zachariah's road to the final card. He just feels a bit clunky sometimes. As I just put a terrible pass there. Um, so I think he is well demanded for being a CDM. Um, they do have relatively fast uh, centre-backs in this league. I mean, you've got Uber Meccano, you've got Canate, you've got Alaba. Um, so I think CDM is looking like where I would want to play him at. Uh, but potentially centre-back, we'll have to have a look. It could be really nice having a 92-paced uh, centre-back in the team. Brilliant covering tackle there. As I said, I've got Mukiele in my team and I do use him at centre-back sometimes. He is so strong and so fast. I believe this uh, this Lima card could could be a contender to beat him. How is that long pass? That is almost perfect if you call it on the run. Lovely. He's in the perfect position to pick up that pass at CDM. I do very much like his uh, positioning. Can he get another? Oh. No. Go on. <sighs> Went for it. Brilliant, he's standing there waiting, supporting the man. That's exactly what you want from the CDM. In case uh, his centre-back wins it back, or one of the midfielders, he's there for the short pass. And he's got brilliant short passing, so he can then distribute it off to another man. Brilliant. Well done. Good movement, good positioning, good pace, good tackling, good interceptions. I'm very impressed with this card so far. We're going to try another half with him at CDM in the next game and then we're going to try him at centre-back and see how he does for the final 45 minutes then. We're going to pop him in at right defensive midfielder then and test him for another half and then he goes to centre-back. Guys, six silver scoring. Let's see how he does at right DM. Lovely pass there. Brilliant. And he wants to get back involved. I'm, I'm very impressed with this card already. Couldn't really ball roll my way out of that situation. Not expecting him to do too much in the final third. But uh, nonetheless, he's doing a lot. What can he do against Varane? Well, he can win a corner from that position. That's what he can do. And that's Varane. One of the most OP players in the game. He's asking for the 1-2. He's been found. Oh, almost. 
I think you can definitely play this card at centre mid. I'm even thinking now. It's not within the scope of this video to test him there. But he is definitely good enough. He doesn't obviously have high high. Um, so those work rates might put you off a bit as a box to box midfielder. You might want a high high work rate. Um, but he does have medium high. And I think I think that's good enough to be honest. Look, he's tracking back now you see. Here he is. Can I get across? Brilliant. I love this card. I absolutely love it. I am in love with the card. <laughs> Did I say? Right, the final team we're going to be looking at is this team. Really, really solid attack, if you've got a glimpse of that. And we're going to be playing him at centre-back to see how he fares against such a formidable um, attacking force that this guy has clearly got. So we obviously have a terrible team here. Um, so it will be interesting to see what he can do. I'm just going to just change those around, make it very simple. Stay him in the 4-4-2 and then second half, maybe the 4-2-3-1. Um, see if there's any different with those two CDMs helping him out. Let's see how he does then at right centre-back. So the thing to note, playing him at right centre-back, you're not going to have any problem with his pace. You're not going to have any problem with his passing. Maybe just the defending stats that might, might worry you. They might not be OP enough. But so far, he's made uh, solid tackles. It'd be interesting to see what he can make against OP players that sort of the ball sticks to their feet, whether he can go through them and make a confident challenge. Yeah, that, that's kind of what I'm worried about, that sort of situation. Oh, there we go. He gets it this time. Brilliant. That's it. That's what we want to see. Good intent. He's got good aggression. So that does help him make those sorts of challenges. Lovely. That is going to be a corner. To say I'm very impressed. Very, very impressed all round with him. I don't have any any sort of negative to say. Like, just, just maybe the fact that as a centre-back, his tackle might not be... Um, might not be so solid. It doesn't really go completely through the man but he, he's got he's so agile he's a bit like Wampasaka where he can like sort of reach around and tackle them even if he's messed up sort of thing I've seen that in a few occasions already well it's going to be a quick review from me but guys get this done I am biased because I'm a Leipzig fan I live in Leipzig but he is incredible the only concern I have and this is very minor is his ability to tackle solidly but he is so agile so athletic he can get his leg around uh, as I said, a bit like a, a Wampasaka. Um, and I do use that Wampasaka. I love that Wampasaka card as well. I think this is an incredible card. I think you can use him as a CDM. You can even use him as a centre mid. <sighs> centre back, incredible pace. But, you know, he's got 72 shooting, 83 pass, and 81 dribbling. I mean, if you want to use him as centre back, then I have no problems with that. I have no problems with using him in any sort of position. He's very versatile. Um, it depends what obviously works for your team. So, if you're going to use him alongside Alaba, let's have a quick look at his links. So yeah, strong links to Alaba, strong links to Forsberg, Glasgow, obviously all the Leipzig guys, Klosterman as well, Mukiele, if you've done him, obviously you'd be wondering whether to do this. I have now done both, and I guess I like Lima better. Mukiele makes solid, solid tackles. I use Mukiele as a centre-back, and I prefer him in that sort of role, but Lima is way more versatile. Um, I could use him almost uh, anywhere, um, in the midfield or in defence. Really, really good and obviously perfect links to Sabitzer. For just 146,900 on PlayStation at the moment, and it's only marginally more on Xbox and a little bit 20K more on play, uh, PC, I should say. This card is incredible. It really is. Uh, I'm not just saying that. I might be slightly biased, so you have to test him out yourself, but uh, you can take my word for it. You've seen him in the clips here, and this is on Div 1. For me, guys, this is an 8.5 out of 10 for performance. I would love to rate it higher, but there are so many more like premium SBCs, better SBCs that are, are going to come out. And so I'm sort of weighing it against what could potentially come out and not necessarily what has come out. But this is a really fantastic card. Value for money SBC, I'd say it's a 9 to 9.5. Better value for money, I would say, in my opinion, than the Adama Traore and the Jesus Navas. But again, I'm a Leipzig fan. So take with that what you will. I've loved the card. I hope you've loved the review. Guys, if you have, please subscribe to the channel. It helps me out massively. And don't forget to put in the comments below for the giveaway prize. 2,200 FIFA points, a hoodie, two t-shirts, given away on Christmas Day. Guys, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.